All right, actually, we're going to do this one next. Number nine, it's in here for a full clean. This is the one where, remember how I always say the importance of cleaning your computer every six months? This is what happens when you leave your computer sitting on a floor for six months. Now, this guy was in here six months ago with this, so I'm not even exaggerating. This is the reason this looks so bad. It's in a restaurant, it's in the front counter of a restaurant. We are going to go turn the compressor on. Again, if this was someone's house, I'd say that's a huge problem. But again, this is just sitting in a restaurant. So I'm gonna turn my compressor on and then we're gonna blow this out up front. So I'll be right back. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. It really, really helps the channel. Get the true horror. I mean, you can't even see in the sides here. It's actually not bad. There's some in here, but it's not, not super bad. All right, let me go outside. All right, so we made some discoveries while I was out there blowing this out. First off, that, ladies and gentlemen, is a dead fan. Like, this is magnetically seized. That one's still fine. This one, like, I can move the whole panel by, by trying to move that. Secondarily, we have a problem. <laughs> GPU fan. So I think I have one of these. Well... It's not exactly the same. I have to look at it. But it is, these plates sure look like they're in the same location on both of these. Screw holes definitely line up. Anyways, I, I, I can take this. Get this upgraded for him and then just go and look at replacing that. CPU fan, still seems good. That fan, still seems good. This one up front, dead. So, let's replace these dead fans for him. Man, this explains why when I was hitting this thing with the compressor, nothing was happening. We grab our vacuum and our brush. We'll get, this, we'll get this thing running good as new again. And I'll see how much, how much a replacement fan for these things costs. I'm pretty sure these plates are gonna be the same. You know, there's only one thing holding it down, so. Yeah, so it's like 50 bucks. These things though, so here's the thing. I don't think I'm gonna actually replace this because they, there's a version of this card that is just air-cooled. I'll look around though, see if I have something. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna break down my card to get his up and running again, because he doesn't care. Hang on, I might actually have one that works. Same form factor. So we got a couple things we're gonna look at here. Front fan, two screws. Apparently the only way to get this in and out, of course, wouldn't be computer build for here if it didn't have roaches in it, right? to find, I need to figure out where this cable goes, and which cable it actually is. It's 
not that one. This one? Not that one. Feeling it's that one. Yeah, that's this cable. Which goes to that. Let's get that out of here. Let's set this down to the side for right now. As you can see, well, I got two of those fans to replace, and I got two of them up front. So, so we're comparing that to that. So, get this thing out of here. The only thing that might be a problem is finding a place on the motherboard to plug this fan in. I'm sure I can figure something out. One screw. Two screw. All right. <clears throat> so all I need is a system fan header for this. I got one right in there. So that's one fan replaced. This is gonna go to the side panel. So let's look at the side panel. We got two fans on the side panel. That one seems to be fine. This one, not so much. We're gonna replace both of them. And then what, during that process, we are going to uh, Get these those things nice and clean. Oh no, I broke it. Whatever will I do? These things are so stupid. Yeah, they're quick release. How often do you need to quick release these things, huh? Some interesting stuff going on here. I'm like this this mesh that's on here is coming off. And I guarantee you this mesh is actually doing way more harm to this air the fan airflow then it's doing any sort of good. It's part of the fan too. Yeah, whatever, this, like these are, this is, it's on there. It's interesting is this one here ru actually rubbed through this. Did it on both of them. We know better now, don't we? You know, it's better to have just clean open airflow and clean the computer more often than it is to restrict the airflow into the computer. Okay, we're gonna talk about modifying cables real quick. So, I have, here's the situation I'm in. I have four pin fans. These, the reason these are four pins because these come off of a all-in-one cooler that have a radiator. These are just simple Molex power to two pin just to keep the fan spinning. What you can do is figure out which side you need to remove. So I need to, this side won't fit here. All you do is you come in, you clip, and peel a little bit, and then you clip all the way down. And then just like magic, you now have a connector that fits. You don't do this with any sort of connector that where you're exposing pins. All I'm doing is making it so that a larger connector for fans will actively fit with something that all it does is provide power. So instead of using all four pins which gives you, you know, RPM control. All I'm doing is I'm making it so that all, it's just either on or off. That's all this, that's all that I just did. So go back to position one. All right. Last thing we need to do. Let's look at this. So this is their CPU with their CPU cooler. I need to see if I can make this fit this, this, like this pattern looks like it'll be the same. What I'm concerned with that is that it's gonna to be too deep. Let's find out. 
As you can see underneath here, there's just a lot of extra dead space. And like I was saying before, this cooler came with an option that was, um, ooh, this plug not fit this? Yeah, the plug will fit. So when you look at this, the contact area for these dies, you can see just how small that is. These two, the two pins will plug in. Let me, um, let me brush this up a little bit before we before we see if this will actually fit. I love when like everything was the same size back in the day. So this should work. What I just need to be very, very aware of is one, I need to repaste this. Two, I can't tighten this down 100% because what will end up happening is it's going to take the board and it's going to flex the board to pull it. So, just clean off the pastes here. Good, that came off nice and, nice and easy and clean. Said me never. Nice little P on there. All right, and then we're just going to very, very gently rotate this around, line up these holes, and replace this cooler with a little bit beefier of a cooler. This is old school modding here. Like old school, where you'd take like a, a old GPU like this back in the day that was like thermally limited because they included either a, so I just need to check this. Yeah, so that's fine. They included either something that was just a block of aluminum that did nothing, or they included an undersized actual cooling solution on it, and you could just swap them. Because back in the day, <laughs> even going from like brand to brand, so I need to loosen this a little bit. Just a little bit. So it still has, yeah, there we go. Board isn't curved now. That guy's still making great contact. And it's got a little spot specifically to cool, whereas this didn't have it. This actually has a spot to blow down on the VRM. Anyways, you'd end up with an underpowered cooler, and what you could do is you could just swap it. And do exactly what I just did. And this is old school modding of GPUs. Always make sure you plug those cables in the right way. All right, let's see if we can uh, fry this thing now. All right, here we go. All right, we got fan, fan, fan. We're spinning all around. So what we have right now, effectively cooling. Two fans here. Two fans up front. This thing slid back on here, which was doing it thing was doing all the heavy lifting for keeping dirt out of this system. All right. The back on here. I think it sounds like it is humming away. We have airflow again. This thing's pulling in cool air, blasting out hot air. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked that video, make sure you hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And I stream daily on Twitch at twitch.tv specvengeance. And uh, yeah, if you wanna learn more about my services, 
check out BradentonPCRepair.com. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.